Hi everybody, Jacob here. Welcome back to the Fragrant Bunker. Boy, oh boy, have I got news for you. Okay, Chanel update. I know we've had the Chanel Cristal video just like a week ago, but news keep rolling. And as they keep rolling, I promised you in the other video that we would have an update and we have an update. Okay, so in America, no update yet. In France, no update yet, but Chanel leaked a little something something in the UK. UK, I-Y-K-Y-K, -Y -K, in the UK. So let's get to this brand new titillating scoop, breaking news with the Chanel Cristal release. First, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. You push the notification bell to get notified every time I post a new video. And you can also follow me on Patreon, Super Deco Ball spelled together for extra perks, including watching these videos as they're being filmed live before they hit my channel. So you get to see them even before they're like hot, hot, hot. You see them in their inception. But uh, thank you to all my patrons who have already pledged. So uh, this video is being filmed live in front of a live virtual audience. So hi, my co-chators. Let me cue in the first picture. We're gonna do a little tiny historical kind of, we're gonna build it up towards the news. Okay, so let me show you the first picture. So here we are uh, at the Chanel current state of affairs. This is Cristal Eau de Parfum and Cristal Eau Verte Eau de Toilette Concentré. And then there's one product missing here because it's not available in every country, uh, but I do have it here as well. This would be the Cristal Eau de Toilette, which kind of goes together with this one, right? So uh, we got the Eau de Parfum and the Eau de Toilette of Cristal. This one was the first released in the 70s, and then this one was released in the 90s. Henri Robert perfumer, Jacques Polge perfumer. And then in the 2000s, the flanker comes out, this one, Eau Verte, the green version with hyacinth and uh, neroli, mandarin. In the 2000s, Jacques Polge releases this. So Cristal family has three fragrances. All three kind of gone, sold out since months now. And we've been speculating, are they going to be discontinued? So um, I got this from the Australian website. So in Australia, they still have the old versions showing up, but they're sold out. But they're still at least showing up in Europe. They don't show up at all. It's just an empty slot. And this is the text that describes them. Cristal draws inspiration from Gabrielle Chanel's fondness for the invigorating breath of a weekend in the country who wear femininity can be both a natural and sophisticated. Its name evokes the transparency of the floral fresh fragrance. Cristal is available in eau de parfum, eau de toilette, and an eau de toilette concentré cristal au verte. Well, things started moving along. Now, Bottles design, bottle designs have changed. These are also not the original bottle designs from back in the day when they were first released. Well, this one is from the 2000s. But this one, for example, uh, when it was first launched, it had a different bottle. It had a splash bottle in the 90s, and then it was mod modified into this spray version. You could also get a 50 mil and a 100 mil, then the 50 was discontinued, only the 100 was left. The 100 mil uh, plastic lid, this plastic black lid, was framed with a silver lining right around it. Uh, and then Chanel took the silver lining away about a year or two ago, but placed a double C silver logo that they print on top of the cap, but the rest is sleek black. So that's the evolution. And then things changed completely. They took everything offline and now they're gonna launch something new. So in my last video, we've seen the new bottle of the Eau de Parfum, but let's, let's continue. Let me show you the next picture. We got a few of uh, images to roll through. Here's a close-up of the Eau de Parfum bottle. Uh, this does look gold, but the printing of these letters, it's printed on glass. They protrude a little bit, they are silver. They are silver, but just the light that they use is a warmer light, so it does appear a little bit gold-ish, but it, indeed, the lettering is silver. And as you can see here, in the latest version of the bottle, we have that silver lining missing printed on the bottle. To save money, I want to say, I don't know, maybe they wanted to streamline it. I'm kind of missing that silver line there, but alas, it is what it is. And I wanted to kind of preserve for posterity these pictures, so I saved them from the Australian website because they're pretty soon going to be taken down. 
and the new bottle will be introduced. So I want to have this as a document for you. If you want to rewatch this video in the future, you're going to see it again. And I'm going to show you the second picture that Chanel also uses or that they used to use to portray this bottle. Let me show you the next one. Here it is. Now here you can see what I was talking to you about. They've added this silver double C logo on the top, but they've taken the silver off of here, the edge like all over those edges, it's all gone there. And then you got the sprayer bar, the sprayer nozzle, and you have this little plastic thing holding it. Oh my gosh, everything is like mirrored. I can't, okay. <laughs> I can't do this, you guys. Wait a minute. Uh, no, I, I don't know how, I can't go along this line. Oh, okay, it's like this. Okay, got it. Because everything is like mirrored in a weird way on my control monitor. So when I move like this, the hand moves opposite. Really complicated. But anyway, so Chanel is trying to also work more sustainably. So they're kind of recycling their glass bottles. So they're using recycled glass to manufacture their new perfume bottles, most of them. I don't know if they're already now doing all of them in recycled glass, but here's the deal. Um, they have this company that started making their classic Chanel Number no. 5 Eau de Parfum bottles in recycled glass, which is one of the reasons why I believe that they switched this bottle to that bottle because they can already make it in recycled glass, and also because that bottle uses almost no plastic at all, while this bottle has a chunk of plastic here and a chunk of plastic there. Bear that in mind. Next picture. Here is, for posterity purposes, the... Um, Ovet flanker, so Cristal, we have the Eau de Toilette here. You see that it's the same bottle, except here we got a white cap and here we got a black plastic cap. And then you got that double C logo on top for both of these. Let me show you the next picture so you can see how it looks for posterity purposes. Say goodbye to this bottle, you guys. We are saying goodbye to this bottle. Is it forever? Chanel, you know, you never know. They might bring it back again in the future, but for now, Technically, it's forever. This bottle is still available for the Pour Monsieur Eau de Toilette bottle, and that's it. No other Chanel fragrance has this bottle anymore. The next picture uh, of this evolution is showing us the Eau de Toilette, which we have here. Beautiful, beautiful bottle. I adore it, even though I mentioned this in my review of this fragrance. This spray uh, nozzle is a little bit too low in here, so whenever you spray the perfume, you get a little bit of residue up here. So let me spray it on. Oh, we love it. And you're going to, there, you see the liquid right down there? There you go. There's always some perfume residue. And that always irritated me. It did, they didn't have it with a 50, with a 60 mil. The other toilet existed as a 60 mil bottle as well. Uh, so I always have to clean it up. Every time I spray the perfume, I have to clean it up. So that really annoyed me uh, with this fragrance. So I'm kind of glad that that's fixed. I mean, they could have just elevated the sprayer more, but instead we're getting a new bottle. So the next picture is the laying flat. Also for posterity, it's the last time we're seeing this photo. Chanel will delete this. You won't be able to see this on their website pretty soon as they roll out the new bottles. However, the UK already has the new bottles. Let me show you the next picture. Uh, this is just for reference to show you. It's a 100 ml bottle. Uh, this is from the Australian website. So we have the Australian dollar pricing, also for posterity, 275 Australian dollars as of now, the latest price in Australia. You can't find this bottle pictured on the Chanel website in other countries as of now, only in Australia. You can still find it, even though it's gone, baby. It's gone. Ah, <sighs> goodbye. Next picture. Now we're going to get into the description that I managed to hunt down uh, the old description of Cristal Eau de Parfum from the Australian Chanel website. All of these photos are taken, screenshots are taken from the Chanel websites across the world. Description, the invigorating breath of a weekend in the country, the reflection of a pure and free elegance, a floral fresh fragrance with a balance of character and transparency, strong and light, natural yet sophisticated. Composition, a floral fresh fragrance with pure elegance, a vibrant, delicate composition that opens with a fresh and fruity burst. 
The heart blossoms with green notes of hyacinth, softened with a honeysuckle accord, a fragrance with a trail of scent tinged with absolutes of jasmine and iris from Florence. Leaving this here because I want to see how Chanel is going to change their description with the new bottle. Like, are we talking about a reformulation here? Inspiration. Cristal draws inspiration from Gabrielle Chanel's taste for life in the great outdoors and her natural yet sophisticated femininity. Its name evokes the transparency and purity of the fragrance. The Art of Perfuming, you can read yourself. Now, let's check out the next picture. This is important, the list of ingredients, again, from the Australian Chanel website, the old bottle of the Eau de Parfum. You can screenshot this and have this list uh, and that you can then compare to the future versions of Eau de Parfum. We can see if stuff has been reformulated or not, or if some ingredients are being added or not, which would be technically a reformulation. But uh, now that you've seen that, let's go to the next picture. Welcome, brand new bottle of Cristal Eau de Parfum. We've revealed this bottle last week on my channel, but now it's officially available, add to bag, on the UK website. Price went drastically up. They changed the bottle. We got a sticker with the silver text here. Uh, it's, the, it's the number five Eau de Parfum bottle. It's the Coco and Coco Mademoiselle and Coco Noir Eau de Parfum bottles. And now Cristal has it as well. They can do the recycled glass if they want to. The only plastic here is this little ring. This stopper is glass as well, by the way. I'm loving it, just telling you. 136 pounds. It used to be 112 pounds in the old bottle, so they st or, or 116 pounds, so they upped it 20 pounds. They ain't playing. They ain't playing. Let me show you the next picture. Here's a close-up of the first edition of the new Cristal in its new bottle from the Chanel website. So you can see their way of photographing bottles. Uh, at the moment, they're kind of laying them flat with a light projected from this end, so you get that shadow cast there, but they're tilted in a way so you get that air bubble up here. This is not how they used to photograph their perfume bottles a couple of years ago. I document all of this. <laughs> I know, I'm that person. I archive everything. They used to kind of stand them up. They would fill them artificially to the brim or in Photoshop later, so you wouldn't see the air bubble at all in the bottles. There would not be any shadow cast on the floor. The bottles would not be laying down at an angle, but they would be standing upright. So it's interesting to see how Chanel chose this more, almost like raw approach, almost like it's uh, amateur, you know, like more real approach to perfuming bottles. There's an, you know, there's like a style and a fashion about how you photograph perfume bottles, right? It also evolves with time. There used to be a time where more artificial pictures were in, but now they're kind of favoring this more kind of real approach. It's going to change again, but for now, this is what we get. So I'm looking forward to seeing how the future of this photo is going to look like, like five years from now. How are they going to photograph their perfume bottles then? Next picture is the standing up, uh, the laying down with the open. So we got, so you can see falling down or laying flat with the lid popped off and uh, the stopper popped off with that double C stickerlet. This is the plastic part. This is the glass part. And the spray nozzle is silver as well. And we got the sticker there. What they did retouch on this photo is the little tiny plastic, which it's kind of hard to see here, but there you have it. That little plastic little pumpy thing that goes all the way down, which is kind of missing here. It should be somewhere there. You know, it goes from here and then it kind of twirls somewhere in a corner. They've kind of touched that, retouched that out. Next picture. The new description of the Eau de Parfum. 
So this is the same, I want to say. Now, the composition is what's interesting to me, because they're saying a floral, fresh fragrance with pure elegance, a vibrant, delicate composition that opens with a fresh and fruity burst. The heart blossoms with green notes of hyacinth, softened with a honeysuckle accord, a fragrance with a trail of scent tinged with absolutes of jasmine and iris from Florence. Also the same. I don't think anything changed. The next picture. So this is like old description, new description are the same. I've already compared the ingredients. They seem to be the same to me. Okay, but you can rewind the video and go to the ingredients list of the old bottle, compare it to the new one. Seems to be the same to me. So it seems like there has been no change in the formula of the Eau de Parfum of Cristal. Now let's move on to the next picture. Now we get to the brand new news. We have not seen how the evolution of Cristal Ovet looks like yet. Well, here we're going to get to it. This is the old price for the Eau de Toilette Concentré. It's like a slightly more concentrated version of the Eau de Toilette. 112 pounds. By the way, same price as the Eau de Parfum. But the Eau de Parfum just jumped to 136 pounds. So, 112 pounds is what this used to cost. I managed to kind of go back in time and get uh, a screenshot of the UK website. There's a glitch on their website. <laughs> like literally, if you go on this perfume on the Australian website, as of now, that's going to change. They're going to fix that glitch. And then you switch countries to the UK. UK will show you the old Cristal bottle with the old price. And then if you exit, go back into perfumes, go back to Cristal, then they're going to show you the new one and this one will be gone. It's a little glitch that they have right now. So anyway, I found it. 112 pounds for the Eau de Toilette Concentré uh, for posterity. Next picture. Here is the product description composition and the ingredients from the old bottle. Magnolia notes are rendered transparent with citrus jasmine and neroli accents for a reimagined expression of the timeless floral bouquet of Cristal. These are the ingredients. Screenshot them and let's move on to the next picture. Here are the, here's the composition and the ingredients for the new bottle and the new composition and the new concentration of Cristal Overt. Yes, they have changed. Here we have a different text. Cristal Overt is another interpretation of the Cristal fragrance, a variation of magnolia recomposing its delicateness and citrus jasmine notes using the purest raw materials. They completely changed the text and to, the, to its predecessor. And before I reveal to you the bottle, let's touch base on the ingredients this, the Hexel Cinemal, this one is added to the new list of ingredients. That wasn't on the photo before. We can go back one photo. Let me see if I can see the Hexel Cinemal right after the Linalol. No, you see? Oh, there it is. Wait, what is different? Butyl, oh no, sorry, this is the difference. Butyl methoxydibenzoylemethane. Ah. Let me see, is it there? That has changed. Let me go to the next picture. There you go. That's the one that's changed. It's missing here. It's missing in the new one or it's put right there later. Now, what does this mean? Even if it has the same ingredient, if it's positioned in a different slot, the amount of it used is less. So what you have at the top of the list of ingredients are the products that are used in highest quantity. And then the lower down you go on the list and the less you have of the ingredients. So it's a different formula. It's a different formula. You guys, they have reformulated Cristal Ovat. Not only have they reformulated it, but they're giving it to us in a new concentration. And here's the reveal in the next slide, in this TED Talk, uh, I, I will reveal to you the new bottle. Hit it, Bubbles. Ta-da! From 112 pounds overnight, and just like that, we have jumped to 136 pounds. That's over 20 pounds more expensive. And this is the new bottle. But most importantly, 
This is the new concentration. Now it's called an eau de parfum spray, not an eau de toilette concentré anymore. And this bottle does not have that little spray hole there like Chanel number no. 19 eau de toilette would have. So what is this bottle? Oh, we're gonna get to it. It looks very familiar to me. One doth wonder, where did we see this bottle before? It's only available as 100 ml, but it's available. You can order it already on the UK Chanel website. And it has a silver printed text Cristallo Vert on it and all that good stuff. Now let me show you the next picture of the close-ups. There it is for all of posterity, the first photo ever taken uh, officially by Chanel, right, for their website of Cristal Ovat in the new bottle with the white cap and silver printed text. The next one is the laying flat version of the bottle where we see the lid taken off. There is that kind of reminiscent of the old school Cristal. It has that extra added plaque of silver inserted into the lid of the perfume that is in this case white not black and then we have a metal silver sprayer this one i have experience with this bottle because we've seen it before this one does not leave any residue here on the neck of the bottle once you spray it so that's an upgrade for me quite sleek and elegant bottle i really 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 like this there's only one chanel perfume that has actually had this bottle thus far but what is fascinating, and I'm going to show you which perfume, that perfume in this bottle is only available as an eau de toilette. And what I find very interesting is the choice of bottles for this. Why did Chanel choose an eau de toilette bottle for an eau de toilette, perf uh, for an eau de parfum perfume? Since they've uh, upped this to an eau de parfum concentration, why didn't they just use the same bottle they used for the Eau de Parfum Cristal, but without the sticker. Like no sticker, just a printed version, Cristal Overt, but why not use the Eau de Parfum bottle? Well, I think because they want to maintain the similarity between the Eau de Toilette of Cristal and the Overt. Why? Because in the past, like we've seen before in this video, Eau de Toilette is with the black stopper, this is the bottle, and the Auvert is the same bottle but white stopper. So the, I think, we still have not seen an official photo of the Eau de Toilette yet, the new Eau de Toilette, but I believe that the new Eau de Toilette of Cristal is going to be this exact bottle, it's just going to say Cristal without the Auvert, and the stopper is going to be black and silver. That's what I believe is going to happen. Could be wrong. But why do I think it's going to happen? Because we've already seen an eau de toilette in this bottle. Let me show you what perfume I'm talking about in the next slide. This is the bottle, Chanel number no. 5, eau de toilette, in 100 ml, but also in 50 ml. From the UK website, 116 pounds, which leads me to believe that once they bring out Cristal eau de toilette, in this bottle, if I'm correct, it will be in this bottle with the black stopper. Chanel number no. 5 has gold on top. Let me show you the next picture. Here's a beautiful close-up of the bottle. Uh, and now when you take that lid off, which is a magnetic lid, by the way, the next picture, I'm going to show you it's laying down and the lid is off. And then you're going to see that it has gold on top. There. So that's going to be the difference between the Eau de Toilette of Cristal and the Eau de Toilette of Chanel No. 5. This is going to be silver metal instead of gold metal. This top here is going to be silver instead of gold, but I do believe that the lid will be black. So that's how I believe Cristal Eau de Toilette is going to look like, standing next to Cristal Eau Verte. They're going to be this bottle, both of them, both of them with a the silver metal here. One with a white cap, one with a black cap, both with a silver top and white double C logo. And I do believe that the Eau de Toilette of Cristal in the UK at least is going to cost £116 when they re-release it in the new bottles. That's the news. We've had, we've, we, we have it now. It's official. This is the whole family of Cristal. It's not being discontinued. They've just revamped it so that they can up the price. 
And of course, not every concentration is available in every country. In America, the eau de parfum is not available. Uh, you can hunt down eau verte and eau de toilette. In Australia, the eau de toilette is not available. In Australia, you can hunt down the eau de parfum and eau verte. Europe is kind of the only continent where you can still hunt down all three versions. Maybe not every country in Europe will be uh, distributing all three of them, but definitely France is going to have eau de toilette, eau de parfum, and eau verte. It's going to carry them. So that's the news. What do you guys think? Are you liking the new version uh, of, well, let me go back three pitches, uh, four, tick, 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 go back again, back again, back again. Are you liking this? Is this a yay or a nay? It's the first time that Chanel puts an eau de parfum concentration in an eau de toilette bottle. It doesn't really matter, but they've only ever used this bottle for eau de toilette perfumes. You see what I mean? That's what I'm saying. So anyway, are we liking this or do we prefer this? Are we liking the new eau de parfum crystal bottle or do we prefer the old one? This video basically has all the information you need. Let me know your thoughts and prayers down below. Debbie says, I'd love to see an amazing ad campaign to go along with it. Fingers crossed that they do release, re-release this perfume, but I don't think they are going to do it because they've had this silent launch in the UK. They just kind of snuck these into their website without any announcement. So I don't believe that they're going to have this major re-release, unfortunately. And the sizes, all three are available in 100 mil only. No other sizes than 100 mil, unfortunately. I would have loved to have a 200 mil bottle, but no. As of now, no. Um, so uh, Rachel says, more hexyl cinnamol could mean it's sweeter or more floral as it's a jasmine material. Thanks for the info, Rachel. Good point. So uh, David also says, not all change is necessarily worse. I am hopeful. Rachel says, it could be fabulous. Chanel has a great team at the moment in fragrance. So here's hoping, fingers crossed. I'm super excited personally about this, but let me know your thoughts down below. Thumb up the video, subscribe, and until next time, never forget to never give up on love. Bye. Mwah.